it going? It's time again. Good to have you back. All right, here's the third video in the three video series, uh, all free, and I hope you love it. Uh, anyway, I got a whole bunch of ideas uh, in back of me, and of course, all these lead to even other ideas and bigger ones and so on and so forth. Everything you'll see up here, I've used. Uh, everything you see up here, I've taught, and uh, and and frankly, there's like 10 times this amount. I just couldn't fit them all on the board, know what I mean? Anyway, so let's get started. I'll show you a few things that I think greatly impact, not that I think, they will greatly impact your career. Depends on where you are and what you can do and what you're allowed to do, all that stuff. But sometimes you're going to have to convince uh, your managers, your owners, your dealers, your manufacturer, whatever, to do what it is is going to be the right thing on behalf of your client, all right? Because you impact your clients, you make memories Man, they'll stick with you forever. So, let's take a look. I've got giveaways, videos, experiences, and then another uh, link set up over here. Okay, so first let me talk about giveaways. Now, when it comes to giveaways, uh, I'm a big believer in building contacts. Contacts are more important than just finding the buyer. If you're, if you're continuously looking for like one buyer at a time, you're going to have one frustrating career. The concept that you really have to focus in on is you've got to find the contacts that will lead you to the buyers. Right? You see, you need to have an enormous amount of people out there that are like your own little sales force. Right? So you're one person, but if you have another hundred people or a dozen people or a thousand people, whatever it is, who are out there constantly selling your name, then, my God, think about the level of growth that you'll find. So you've got to make an impact on those people that are representing you, all right? Your past clients or just your referrers or your friends or whoever it is, all right? So we want to give those people cool things, all right? And because when you give away free stuff, you end up making a memory. Now, there's a whole bunch of you out there that believe in doing like this $100 spiff for people. I got to tell you, I do it, but I do it rarely. And I actually do it in, in uh, pockets. So I'll focus on somebody and I'll say, okay, uh, Jeff, for this month what I'm doing is I'm going to give you $200 for every person that comes in here and buys a car, uh, but it's only going to be for the month of September or whatever the month is. You see, and that way I can get Jeff or something to focus a month because then he figures, gosh, in a month's period of time, how much could I make? See, that type of thing. Or you do it over a week's period of time or something. I like doing it over a month. That gives you know the Jeffs of the world some idea on how they can best impact that many people. Okay, so that's what's good for the money thing. Otherwise, money isn't a great memory for people unless you pocket it in, right? A lot of those, uh, boy, we pay a hundred dollars every time you sell. We, you know, you refer somebody. Those programs, they take a dive on you fast. They just do. Okay, so anyway, giveaways. Let me show you a couple of things that work out great. Uh, chocolate covered strawberries. Get these through Fannie Mae, you know, or baskets.com or whoever. But anyway, um, these are incredible. You can send just six, but they're like the big fat ones with chocolate and then drizzle all around them. People get that box in the mail, and that's a memory, man. And they, you can, it's great when you send them to businesses or organizations, you know, that type of thing, fun groups, community foundations. Those things are powerful, man. I love sending those. And they're pretty cheap. All this stuff is, you know, less than thirty bucks. You know, thirty bucks for people that are sending sending you clients. Yeah, you know, I mean, you'll give them a hundred dollars if they send in a referral. I'm saying, man, spend thirty bucks and make a greater impact. Here's something called BarkBox. Now, this is specific for uh, people that have pets. Because remember, people that have pets, uh, man, there it's like a cult. You know, like there's dog people. Right, you start talking dogs with dog people, man, they just can't stop talking about all the stories with their dogs or cat with cat people, whatever it is. One of the bark boxes for dog people, and what it does, it sends out uh, food, uh, like over like a three month period of time or something, food, toys, that type of thing. Uh, so people can, and it comes in a box called bark box, and it's sent to the owner, and the owner opens it up, and it's something cool for their pet. You see, so that's a really cool thing, barkbox.com. Omaha Steaks. I love these people. Now, there's a whole bunch of people that got into the game of you know, giving out gourmet burgers or fillets or steaks and all that type of stuff, but I still find Omaha Steaks to be the best at delivering when you need them delivered. And it's a great picture, right? Because it comes in the styrofoam thing. You open up the styrofoam and the, the mist comes out from the from the you know frozen stuff and anyway so anyway Omaha steaks you can get really inexpensive packages or incredibly expensive ones if you want 
but uh, but they're great. The gourmet burgers are great. The steaks are great. Plus, you can get add-ons, that type of thing. The presentation, though, is what really does it. Uh, popcorn bucket. Now, this is good as long as you do the right thing. I like going to the popcorn factory because they really have some great stuff. You know, caramel corn's a big deal for people, or drizzled popcorn. And again, it's for specific individuals. You know, health nuts. They don't like you know caramel drizzled popcorn, right? And you can do stuff for uh, for health people too. Uh, private label water. Now this is great when you can put your own label. You know, you get your own logo, your own personalized logo. And I'll tell you how to do that. On a, if you end up joining like further series of mine, I'll tell you how to do all this stuff dirt cheap. It's really fun. Uh, and anyway, you can get private label water that you can hand out at schools, cross country events, your track events, or you could do it at at the, if you got like specialty running stores. A lot of specialty running stores they've got their own running clubs, so you could show up like on the Saturday morning, you know, gazelle run or something like that, and hand out waters for all the people that are there in the morning, private label waters. And you could bring donuts or cookies or stuff like that, because they eat those stuff even on the runs. Uh, these are all great for uh, bike clubs, bicycle riding clubs and such. So this is really good stuff, people that work out. Beergift.com. Now this is a really cool thing for, for people you'd like to give the gift of beer to. And you, get, you can give like specialty beers to people. And again, this can be very inexpensive, 30 bucks or something like that. Uh, and I got to go into beergift.com. They got a lot of different oh, styles of beer on there. And there's a couple specialty brew houses out there, uh, you know, around, well, all, they're all over the place that you can even make deals with them. I like making it easy because I like stuff showing up in a box at people's houses. You know, if you give them, give it to them face to face, that's cool too. But I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily have a lot of time to pull that off because I got a lot of clients. Uh, so anyway, BeerGift.com, uh, like one I, I've sent quite a few. It's called Fat Tire Brew. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, but anyway, check yours out. Gourmet cupcakes. Now these are great for giveaways, especially when you're entering businesses that you haven't entered before, uh, and you're going to shake hands and get some business cards from people and see how you can help their business by promoting their business and such. Uh, gourmet cupcakes, dynamite stuff. Don't just go to like Kroger and get a bunch of lard filled, crappy, sugary, lousy cupcakes. Gourmet is the only way to go, and you got to really hand pick the right people to do that. And just like gourmet bagels, right now, around me, the best gourmet bagel place is Panera Bread Company in St. Louis. They're called St. Louis Bread Company, by the way, because that's where it started. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, gourmet bagels, there's a lot of bagel places, so those are great to drop off with cream cheese buckets and all that stuff and even, you know, personalized coffees, which kind of led me to this, the coffee club. So there's quite a few people I've sent into the coffee club. I'll put them on like six-month plans where they get this special roast to their house for six months in a row. It's super cool, and you want to talk about building a memory for people, people that are bona fide coffee lovers, love that stuff, man. All right, and you can get all kinds of stuff, the beanery and, and caribou and, and craft, uh, craft coffee. Those are great ones, by the way. Uh, and then I put some, uh, some uh, giveaway stuff that are specific to dealerships because sometimes uh, dealers, that's the only thing they want, but it's still good stuff like Oil Change Club. You know, and I like doing something like the Synthetic Oil Change Club. That way they only have to change your oil every 10 to 15,000 miles. So sometimes they only have to do this once a year. You know, it sounds like a huge deal, but you put like a three-year oil change club, you change your oil three times, you know, or maybe four times or something like that. So that's great for people, and they think it's really special too, because it is. The detail club, where you say you'll detail somebody's car like twice a year, that's cool, or once a year. Uh, usually details are like $100, $110, so once a year is great for people and it always gets them coming back to you. You just tell them you'll pick them up and drop them off the car in the meantime. And then free wiper blades. Like the wiper blade club uh, once a year. Wiper blades cost you know, anywhere from like 25 to 40 bucks also. Once a year, incredibly well worth it to people where this matters. You know, a lot of on the road drivers and things like that. So you see that? We're giving away stuff to people that's really dirt cheap versus what the dealership will do on like this $100, $150 spiff per we go cheaper, more memorable. Okay, now the next thing I want to talk to you about videos. This is not giveaway stuff. This is, here's some ideas on what you can do to create videos for yourself to post them on your own YouTube site, your own Facebook, the dealership Facebook site, your own individual personal site, uh, or all of the above. All right, so let me tell you a couple ideas here. Here's some how-to stuff. 
how to store and play music in the media center. People love this one. I tell you, you want to find out one of the biggest ones people go to is how to store and play music in their media center. I'm telling you, there's people that are still confused about hooking up like an iPod Nano into the auxiliary port. Right? Or where the auxiliary port even is, you know, in their vehicle, because a lot of times they're in the console and you know all that type of stuff. So this is a great how-to video, and it only takes you like you know two, three minutes, and, and those are ideal for videos, but you know, like two or three minute videos. All right, how to fit golf clubs in a trunk. You know, so if you've got a huge trunk on a vehicle or a or a hatchback or something like that, see if you can't get like six, eight, twelve different bags of clubs and show them how to fit them in there, which is super cool. Uh, attach a kayak to the roof. All right, and it's easy. Man, there's tons of people that have kayaks or plastic kayaks. They're not even all that expensive. Show them how to hook it up to your roof rack on a car. All right, or even how to attach a bicycle. Uh, or a bicycle rack to the back of a car or a truck or a van or something like that too. That's pretty cool stuff when you're able to show people that. How to fold minivan seats or how to take them out of a car depending on what type of minivan you use. Uh, the Chryslers, they all just fold into the car and, they, and there's all kinds of different ways. They go up and down and all that stuff. So those are great. And I'm talking about used ones too, right? If you're in the used new car business, don't think you got to promote new cars all the time is that promote your used cars too. Show them how to do this in a in, in, in the Volkswagen vans are actually Chrysler built vans. You know, they just tagged a Volkswagen stamp on it. So uh, anyway, so check those out. Uh, get How to get five extra miles per gallon on your car. Show people how to do it. Here are the five major tricks to do it. And you can go, you can, you can go over, you know, how to take off from a start, how to stop a car, uh, how to um, how to you know, make sure your tires are filled up. I got a whole bunch of stuff on that, but anyone can do it. Five extra fi uh, miles per gallon, how to do that. It's a great how-to video. How to get stains out of seats. All right, and then there's a couple of great tricks on how to do it. I'll, I'll show you sometime, but uh, it's really cool how to get the thing done and what type of like detergent do you use to get it out. It's a lot, a lot of hand, actually hand detergents are the best for that, by the way. Um, how to polish chrome. All right, and if you don't know it, there's a couple very specific ways on how to polish chrome, so it'll never, it'll, it's easy to polish, and it'll never scratch the polish. You can use aluminum foil, you can use a little, uh, uh, very light scuff pads, you know, like Brillo pads, that type of thing, but very light stuff. Takes it right away, never scratches it. Um, how to fit six people into a trunk. Ben, it's a great thing, because it really it shows the size of a trunk, but it's also a fun way to do it. So you got people laughing, you slam the trunk down, and you say, see, six people fit in fine, you walk away from the video, and they're pounding trying to get out. You know, that type of cool, that, that's cool stuff for video. Uh, car versus car. Now, you want fantastic SEO, meaning search engine optimization, to come to your site. This is how, you got to link them all together and such. I'm not going to go through that right now. But... Car versus car is the most popular thing. Honda versus Toyota, uh, um, uh, Dodge versus uh, Toyota, Dodge versus Chevy, or whatever it is, you get a versus versus versus, and you talk about you talk about. Boy, I said a bunch of verses there, didn't I? You talk about all the things that are good about one and all the good things about another. Advantages of one over the advantage of, of another. You can't sit there and badmouth another vehicle. People don't want you to do that. But it's okay to highlight a couple of the cool things that you really love about your particular vehicle that you're showing off. Again, this is okay to do with use also. All right? The business spotlight. Now, this is absolutely a killer one because uh, I'll tell you what happens. Is it you, you spotlight a particular business owner in town? You know, maybe it's somebody that bought uh, a truck from you or something that hauls a you know a lawn mowing business trailer. You know, where they got you know zero degree lawn mowers and all their equipment and stuff on there. You put those on there and you say, hey, I'd like you to see uh, you know Yoakum's Landscaping uh, and you know here's Todd and here's Janine and you know whatever and and this is what they do and man it's just a fantastic place in town and they got this Dodge truck to pull the thing or they got this Ford truck to do this thing or they they bought this uh, this uh, used uh, cabin chassis pickup truck to pull their trailer um, but man it's an incredible business they've been around for 14 years and man they work day and night like nobody's business and most importantly they're trustworthy people Todd you know, how's this business for it? You know, you know, whatever it is, is that you highlight 
the, the people, they don't have to explain their business. You just ask them a couple of cool questions to show their personalities. Give them in. I suggest these people all day long. Then you post that on your Facebook page or your YouTube page, Twitter, or wherever it is you post that stuff. And, and then you make sure you give it to those people so that they can, meaning like the Yoakum, the Todd Yoakum, or whatever, I made up that name. But, uh, but you give it to them so they can post it on their site or to their business people because that's just... I just mentioned landscaping, but this could be somebody where they've got a, a cause, or maybe it's a church, where they like to promote the church, and you're helping them promote the church to your database, and then they can take your video and promote it to their people. And you're on there, so you get FaceTime, they get FaceTime in yours, and everybody loves one another. You know, it's a big hug fest. So business spotlight or organizational spotlight, it's dynamite. And live road tests. Now people love those. They love to see people driving in a car because they like to see the movement, because they like to see how real it is, and they're focusing in on something that might happen in the background. Right? Do they see cars driving by? Are you driving by trees or whatever it is? They try to determine, geez, I wonder where this person was when they were driving. Are they in a neighborhood? Are they in a busy street? Are they faking it? They love that stuff. And it's great to put people in there too in live road tests while they're driving a car. You can see what they believe, their opinions about whatever car they're driving. So, there's a whole bunch of cool video ideas to get you rolling in the video world, okay? Um, I'd go through, geez, the type of camera you use and lighting and all that stuff, all kinds of stuff to do it right. And you don't want this thing uh, looking perfect. You want it a little imperfect, but you want it cool. So, uh, so later on, I'll, I'll show you how to do that and a couple other things I have. And then experiences. All right, now this is a critical piece to make certain that, that people get to experience the vehicles that you have. Because this is one thing that we understand in the car business is that if there's a relationship between two things, it's this. People experience your, experiencing your car firsthand, you know, with their, with, their, with their hands on the steering wheel, there is no greater relationship uh, to buying a car than people experiencing the car first. There's no greater relationship to it. That's why I like to give, I like to get vehicles out in the hands of people, right, wherever they are, two miles away, 50 miles away, I don't care. I want them experiencing my vehicles because I know that that relationship exists. All right, so how do we do that? Well, here's, here's an idea, the lunch in a car. All right, so what you do is that you take a, you buy a gift card or a couple of $10 gift cards to wherever, you know, some local hamburger joint or something nicer, whatever it is, depending on the people that you're talking about here. And you give them a couple of, you, you, you call up one of your, maybe it's a friend of yours or somebody, and you say, okay, hey, I got a couple of gift cards for you. Will you do me a favor? I want you to drive the new Gizmo 200. Uh, we just got the thing in. Nobody knows about it very much. Uh, but uh, your opinion counts. I want to see it. So I'm going to give you a couple of gift cards. Just grab a friend from work or something like that. Head, head out to lunch. I'll pick the car up later and just tell me what you think about it. That's it. Because <clears throat> when you get people, grab my water again. When you get people to experience your car and you're giving them lunch on you, oh man, they think you're a superstar. Talk about creating a memory, right? All right, and then uh, experience Ford versus Chevy, or it could have been anything here. It could be truck versus truck or car versus car, SUV versus SUV. I just put Ford and Chevy because they're big, you know. But uh, this, but what you do is you invite people in, even if it's a small group, six people or something like that, because you want them to check out. I like doing the pickup trucks because there's a lot more passion with people in pickup trucks. You go, okay, let's just check out, you know, a new Ford versus a new Chevy. You know, and they could be newer, they could still be used, but people don't care, you know. Is that you just show them the new style versus the new style. Or the new Ford versus the old Ford, or the new Dodge versus the old Dodge, or whatever it is. But it's versus versus it's it's vehicle versus vehicle because when it's vehicle versus vehicle, people They'll stand out there and they'll they'll grip in hard and they'll go, man, Ford sucks and Chevy's the best and whatever it is. But people love that and of course you can put all this stuff on video. The new model VIP review. Now what I like to do is whenever we get new models in, is that I like to put them in the hands of my best clients. Right? My best clients are the ones that buy the most stuff and refer me the most people. Right? So if they're doing that, I want them to experience the brand new vehicles that are coming in. Say, man, you get the first one. Here's a trail hawk or something. Hop in this thing, drive for the afternoon. You tell me what you think. You go, Tom, I don't need to buy a car now. I said, I don't want you to buy a car. I want you to get a feel for it. Give me your opinion. I might even put your opinion on video. Okay. 
All right, track racing. All right, now this depends on where you are. There's a bunch of places in the country where there's tracks. And I don't mean there has to be a major track. There happens to be a major track right near me, so you know I can put I can put people out at Michigan International Speedway. You know, and they got a road track out there, and you can just put them on the main oval track in brand new cars. No kidding, it's cool. So a bunch of people allow for it. Sometimes they'll charge you for it. That's okay too. It's not that expensive. Um, uh, but there's also smaller tracks uh, that are more localized tracks that are great to go out on, depending on the type of car that you have. And so I do that. And there's also dirt track racing, all right? We got a bunch of those near us, right? So that's great for really off-road stuff, things that are, you know, meant for off-road work, you know, like uh, rovers or Jeeps or something like that. All right, that's really cool. Uh, the trailer pull challenge. All right, now this is one thing I love to do is, is uh, when you take whatever it is, whatever's pulling a trailer, could be an SUV, uh, could be a truck or a diesel pickup if it's heavy stuff. You know, like I like going out to farmers and say, look, you know, I want you to hook up this truck to your thing. I want to see it. Pull, put your heaviest trailer on it. Let's see how this thing pulls it. Why? Because there's a bunch of these trucks now. They'll pull, you know, 25, 30,000 pounds. It's pretty awesome, you know. So, so that's cool when you're trying to make an impact on construction workers, uh, construction companies, uh, 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 farmers, like I said. And uh, I'm going to all that stuff. But uh, anyway, so that's huge. Tailgate Friday. Get ex get get. Allow people to experience vehicles at tailgate parties, like for Friday night football games. It's like high school football games. Now, there's plenty of people out there. You could care less about high school football games, you know. But for the people that really care, or even college football games, could be Division Three, Division One, whatever it is, is that you give people a vehicle to take it on a tailgate party, a minivan, a sport utility vehicle, something that's great for that. You, you know, you buy a little barbecue that costs like 35 bucks, and you say, here's a barbecue, a bag of coal, and go, go at it. Now, there's a bunch of places that don't allow that anymore, but certainly at high school games and such, they don't care. You know, and then that's when you can also start filling in a bunch of this stuff. You know, send them with your, uh, your private label waters and things like that. You know, get them a, get them a, big, uh, get them a big case of uh, Pepsis or something like that and throw your tag in it, you know, from your good friend Tom, you know, at Chinka Chinka Motors, you know. So anyway, uh, Tailgate Friday, that's awesome. The service backup hamburger run. All right. So when people are sitting in service and they're getting bored because they're tired of watching the TV that you have and you got CNN on or something like that, is that, <clears throat> you know, you go into the service department and you say, hey, Bill, so you got to be tired of watching CNN here, don't you? Is it, uh, how, about, how about this? Is it, let me give you 10 bucks. Uh, here, uh, let me grab a, grab a new car, whatever you want to. Say, so head on down, get yourself a couple of burgers, and uh, you know, bring a bag back for everybody here in the showroom or, or in, the, in the service lounge or whatever it is. You know, or go ahead, grab some burgers or grab some coffees or grab some bagels or whatever it is. And, uh, and that's on me. And also tell me what you think about the new Gizmo 200. That's great for people, and they really dig it because you're giving them food, great memory. Food's a great memory for people. And they get to drive something without having to sit there and get bored watching the news or something. The car wash switch out, I love doing this, right? You call up a good buddy of yours or a great client of yours, and you say, Hey, <clears throat> hey Janice, um, uh, tell you what, man, I drove by your house the other day. You know, I was heading over to the school. And uh, man, your van is just dirty as, as, as all get out. So I'm going to bring it in and get it all washed up myself. All right, I'm just going to drop off something for you so you get a little something to drive the kids around in the afternoon, okay? Have fun with it. And I also want your opinion on it because your opinion counts. And tell me what you think. Again, you want to do that to specific people where you know that's going to work. So you're coming on, you, you car wash. How, how much does it cost for a car wash? Nothing. Even if you took it to an automatic car wash, what's that? Like seven bucks or eight bucks or something like that? It's nothing. Right? And then something we call dream givers. Now I love this because uh, this is so that you can bring like cool vehicles to uh, families with kids. And it, it doesn't have to be, you know, people that can, you know, afford, you know, the brand new cars. It could be some people that, uh, that, you know, have to continuously buy like three or four thousand dollar cars or something like that. You put them in a nicer vehicle um, and you say, hey, this is for the kids. All right, so I want you to just take it for a couple hours like this, or bring the kids in, uh, and this is what I like to do. Some, it depends on who it is, right? But I like to bring kids in and say, hey, come on down. I'm going to put you in the sports car. I'll let them sit next to me as I drive the sports car around the oval, right? And that way, you get young kids who might not be able to experience cool cars like Camaros or Challengers or Mustangs or something like that, and then they get to experience it firsthand 
when they normally wouldn't have done it. And then you give them like little gizmo gadgetry you have, you know, little key rings or bobbleheads or whatever else you carry. And so they're cool, and then they can take a little something with them, and they can talk about you, you know, for a good time. It's great for the parents. It's great for the kids. It's great for stories in the schools. See what I mean? So you do get promotion out of it, but it's also doing the good thing. I just call it dream givers, okay? Uh, th there could be a name out there. I'm not trying to trademark anything. This is just what I've always called it. So, so and then finally, when it comes to great ideas, got to shut out this video because I know I'm taking up some of your time here. But you can see how powerful cool ideas can get you. And then what you'll want to do on nearly all these things is cut videos, take photos, post them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, wherever it is, put it in your e-newsletter, post it on your site, dealership site, your personal site, whatever it is, and then you try to get people to create links to all these things that you have. You get them to share the videos that you have. You know, uh, uh, well anyway. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do and say, hey, share this and share this and invite a friend to do it. And, and pretty soon when, when you're, you're creating links for people to pass throughout their businesses and such, all of a sudden you're not impacting just the, just the onesies that you drop these things off to. My gosh, you do all this stuff. How many people are talking about you? You got it on video. You send it all out to people and then they share it and they show it to people and they show it to their, their own clients and their own employees. Pretty soon there's thousands of people that you're impacting with memorable events, memorable things that you're doing. And so you see, all of a sudden that $100 spiff you're given, well, why are you going to put a video on that? Why is that cool? Now it's cool if you got Jeff and you gave him yeah, you know, a check for 2400 bucks because he sent a bunch of people to you. Now that's a video. People will dig that because you had that special month where you gave him $200 for every person he referred that bought a car. You see? Now that's cool stuff. They bought 12 cars. That happened to me, by the way. That's why I'm using that. So anyway, um, there's so many cool things to do to tie in this career to get yourself to a point where you build massive database of clients. You stick with them forever. There's so many ways to do that too. And you keep selling more cars along the way, and when you do that, you're doing it based on referrals, which drive up your gross profitability, they drive up your penetration ratio, and then pretty soon your career is just on automatic. You're just doing all those things because you're the central point in your community, and people say, man, that guy or that girl, they are the most awesome salespeople anywhere. you got to go see them. So that's got to be you now. All right, so let's start tying in great ideas, tying in the concepts, and, uh, and I think you're going to dig it. All right, now i got one more video I'm going to send to you because a lot of the stuff I've talked about here you might need more help with, and i got a couple of special ways, uh, a couple of free special bonus ways, and a couple other ways to really help you hone in on this career and make it great in a short period of time. So anyway, this is Tom. I'll see you on one last video. I'll send you tomorrow. Adios.